love the conversation going on in the side. Just <laughs> this is why you don't split the party because then they talk behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, it's the mummy's turn. Uh, he's going to try to attack. Hey! He actually got a hit without advantage this time. And... We're going to go ahead and give you a good 11. So 11 divided by 2 for that one. And Six. then... Yep. And then 9, 11, another... Oh, actually, that's 14. So 7. So 7. Six and seven. And okay. that will... Oh, and you gotta do your constitution check. Even though you pretty much absolutely pass it, it'd be great if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> For me, at least. Remember, when you do your constitution, are you adding the plus three for my aura of courage? I am not. Add that plus three. Yeah, I don't think there's any way you can fail it. <laughs> Alright, my bad. Aura of protection, not courage. 18 with a, with a plus 11. Uh, I think you're pretty safe. You know, I might have to double check my numbers, but I think you're safe. <laughs> oh shit, I was right. I have to double check. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're good. Uh, the zombie, or you know, mummy looks pretty disappointed. At which point, uh, Donnie is going to uh, look down on him in smug disdain. Yeah, just smug <laughs> disdain, like you're not worthy of my time. Or my quack. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that puts it back into yes. smack zone. It is definitely smack time. Let's see if he can finish it off. Right. I believe in you. There's no indicator. But 14. Pretty sure 14 still hits? Yes. It does. Eight, so four points of damage. Alright, it goes. But that's pretty bad. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> 25. <laughs> well, there you go. And five points of damage. It uh, it looks pretty rough. Its, its arms are barely holding on. It goes. And then it's like. All right, I'm gonna do my attacks, rolling two d twenty, one, all all because of the disadvantage. With the lowest being a sixteen. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Wait, no, okay, just read that again. So, I'm gonna assume a 16 hits. Yee. Yeah. And then 3d6, because it still has Hunter's Mark. I wish sadly, I got to add that. <laughs> sadly, I don't get to re-roll that one, because that well, one then. is from the Hunter's Mark. And it's not the actual weapon damage. Indeed. So, oh, um, oh. I'll roll my 2d20 again for the next uh, attack. You don't need to. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, uh, it falls over. <laughs> it's like... Blah, blah, blah. Blah. And it is dead. If I had to come up with a word for how dead it was, it would be cadaverific. I bandage myself up with the band... No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, roll for infection. <laughs> Sorry, you've got good fortitude. I believe in your constitution. Uh, I'm assuming at this point, this is where uh, I th I think they uh, nearly said they were on their way down. They they said they were. They're now talking about the I, map kind of things. Yes, maybe. I pick up the torch before it burns the rest of the ship. <laughs> they Without any could, yeah, I was about to say it's been on there for about thirty or forty seconds now. There's been forty four rounds or something. You know, not yeah, counting in like betweens. That. You know, so probably more like uh, twenty seconds, thirty seconds. <laughs> boot the body um just to see if anything sparkly pops out of it but <laughs> well, i guess you gotta make a roll for that which i'm going to come over to this body that i initially killed and i'm gonna search it for anything shiny and good because you never know nope mm, mm, yeah you kick him in dust <laughs> <comes out. laughs> 
<laughs> and, I rolled a 10. Uh, yes, you did. Let's see what it is you got. Nothing. Who would have gotten this? Ah, uh, well, it was worth it. Who would have guessed nothing? Oh, 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 oh. No, you, you didn't. It's unfortunate, but yeah. Uh, what did they come out of? They came. Were they just kind of like there? They were just hanging out behind the stairwell, basically, in like the dark, shadowy area over here. Okay. Having said that, um, I mean, you can absolutely explore over there and see if there's anything over there. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't think it would occur to Decker to check. I think he would just be like, okay, let's, let's move on. And he'd start going <laughs> further in. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm, I'm guessing you're right him. there. I would, uh, I would ask that you make a, uh, <laughs> reflex roll. Who, me? Yes. Uh, do I see it? Uh, it is not a sight kind of thing. Is it a hear kind of thing? No. Okay. It would basically be I just an get advantage instant. advantage on things that I can see or hear. Nat 20. Ooh. Oh! Nice. Very good. That um. obviously saves you regardless. I'm trying to determine if your sight or hearing would have saved you. The boards under you just give out. So you could c have done maybe a creaking, but these ones are just old that as soon as you stepped on the boards, they just gone. Gotcha. So you were fast enough to oh. basically step off those boards and get onto the next square which will just put you even a little farther so that you uh aren't gotcha. on the same squares here really fall through stairs again uh just no, floor this not. time i did not just <laughs> well, <laughs> well most likely happened is that he ended up on top of where i was because i was walking in while he was walking up no he would have ended up on the third because we're going we're continuing along the second floor yep uh, but, uh, oh, and going to the stairs which seem to be over here yas and what I'll and do now is... I think is... Neely is coming in behind us. I think you are right. Yeah, we were heading down to them. I mean, it's only been 30 seconds, but they would definitely be coming in, I, I would I'm, think, about in this point. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to light another torch so I can see. Why don't you just light the same one? Because you, seen... you picked up the oh. other torch. <laughs> I, I give you the torch. <laughs> All right, relights he, torch with... It's just like, he didn't even need it. He just didn't want me to have it. <laughs> or to burn down the ship, I guess. But still! <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. Shine the torch down there. Hey. Wait, um, I, you don't need to sign this. I, I look down the hole because I have dark vision. Yeah, it's like... Because my dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> Said I can't even... I was like, people expect me to remember. I'm like, I can barely remember what's on everyone's character's 20, name. 20 let alone perception? Oh, God, yes. Uh, as you look down in there, you see a massive horde of zombies. Sorry, mummies. I don't know why I keep saying fucking zombies. But uh, by rough estimates, I'm not going to put them all out there. There's probably 20 or 30 of them at least. Out, out of uh, curiosity, how, how far across is that hole that he made? Uh, it's about a dwarf-sized hole, let's say. So, would I be able to step over it? Yes, I'll say as a Goliath, you would be able to just step over it. Okay. I take out my longbow. Uh, okay. Do we want to kill all these guys, or do we want to just ignore that it exists? I say we ignore they exist right now. Quack. Because... The <laughs> quack I, he, he quacks i wait for it do i do i hear the response <laughs> quatharis is now because he's also been traveling down the hole with the other ones he says from the thing donnie said burn the fucking ship down i'm cool with this well before we do that as much as i like to burn things down <clears throat> but donnie said he learned it from somebody <laughs> <laughs> so I, I swear it. I swear I remember it from somewhere that was the good solution to a problem, but something bad happened, so maybe not. Okay, I brace myself on this side of the hole so people grab them and toss them over me. Okay. Uh I was just going to step over the hole since I'm pretty sure my friend here needs some healing. <sighs> not even half. <laughs> right. 
like <laughs> tell that to a paladin. <laughs> steps over the hole, and I'm going to use a third level cure wound. Alrighty, go ahead and make your rolls, I believe. Three, three D8 plus eight. That sounds good, and correct, and good. And I heal him for 22 health. Cool. I like those numbers. That is, those are good numbers, actually. Oop, not what I wanted to do. I don't know, do you have dark vision? It's I true. There is no. Oh, oh. No, he's asking. There is no light in this area, so if you have except, dark vision, except for the torch I'm holding. Yes, which technically would I think give low light on those, but I can't remember. It's like twenty or thirty feet. I can't remember. I think it is thirty feet. Which is let's see. I'm pretty sure that's thirty feet. Yeah. Yes, so. it Granted, it's a little around corners, but I would count those mummies as being in low light. So yes, you can see them, just not very clearly. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It was <laughs> like. Okay, can I bend down to inspect them to see what kind of race they are? Yes, you can. Uh, 16 plus... Yeah, you don't even have to add it. <laughs> 17 <laughs> total. <laughs> oh, jeez. So... Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. God damn it! There we go. I was trying to find the name because I remembered the species, but not the name. <coughs> Upon close inspection, you see details that <coughs> suggest before mummification, these uh, would have been Arco. <laughs> I can never say the name either. Arakokra. Arakokra people. Oh. Okay. <coughs> yes and with a high roll like that we you can even determine uh that these both seem to be uh like warriors during their time like they're both males they have like vested garments that suggest they were men weapons it's you know so ivan is over here playing with deteriorated cloaca <laughs> i ain't fingering no dead bird <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a hole full of mummies. Which reminds me. I'm, I'm looking to shoot him in the face or, or burn the ship. While both of those do seem like good ideas, my dwarven friend, uh, I feel we should find a way to safely get off the ship before we try burning it down in midair. I mean, your logic makes too much logic? Too much brain. Well, while you try and figure out whether you do or do not want to burn this ship... Um, we, we will burn the ship. We just need to find a safe way and see if there's anything important before we burn it well do you want me to go up and see if i can't find somewhere else around us or should i wait here so i can start firing down at this mass of zombies because i don't i anyone got a fireball i feel like this is the perfect time for a fireball <laughs> all right once i once i figure that out i'm gonna start i'll start do i see them down there at the like near the end there you can you should be they're only about 30 feet from you currently you should absolutely okay. be able to see them also to give a rough idea is the stairway is currently where that line is give or take so like you're you say you're on the top of the stairway they're also he is the only light source there currently gotcha Oh, Having okay. said then that, really all right, then I'm gonna walk over to them and be like, uh, you, "You don't, you don't want to step there." There That's is all right. I thought it was. It's actually pretty much where 
Wait, where exactly was it? It was actually right there. Yes, sorry. Because he stepped here, and that's when the World yes. War. Yes, sorry. I had to make sure because I I didn't see some of the people's movement since then. But yes, it, it's on the junction where the wings at, basically. Gotcha. Which he would be able to see the hole because the the torch. light should show. Yeah, it yeah. should depict a little bit of what's in the hole as well. And the the, the mummies are in the hole, right? Yeah. Yes. Lots yeah. of mummies. Oh. That doesn't seem fun. Have you guys seen any lizards around? Lizards? No. Yeah. Keep an eye out for lizards. And probably kill them if you see them. Why why lizards? No reason. Are we yeah. talking? Are we talking about like these little itty bitty tiny lizards that you usually find in the desert? Or are we talking about like lizard men? Thirteen perception to see anything that relates to lizards in the room that I'm sitting in. Uh, currently nothing. But you do, you don't see anything. But we're just gonna count it as perception. You there's just this fucking faint reptile smell everywhere. I smell reptile. I don't see a reptile. Okay, we we should open this door. Punch. Open the door right here. We should be very cautious. I can't the map. Oh, There's a no. door in the back. There's a door in the back, right? Yes. Of this room. Yep, right here. I kick the door. You gonna kick it? <laughs> I run and kick the door. Okay. Give me just a moment. I was not planning for this. Roll of strength. <laughs> Uh, these doors are done. These doors are old. Oh, it doesn't matter. He rolled an 18. Yeah. He, he could, hey, he could have rolled a 1. He could have. Oh, wait. I took that way too many times. Yeah, I, should, I rolled advantage on it. I didn't see the second roll. I only saw one die, dice on my screen. I boot the door. I'm just trying to get something. Oh, God damn it. Uh, 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 there we go. Save image. Got to keep them all in the same spot. I guess that's the only type I can get. Come on. There it is. Close that. And, uh, Is that a lizard? Yeah, but on the far side you see uh, something, which you'll have to perception, uh, sitting in a chair, seems to be covered in a kind of towel, very fancy silk towel that still looks pretty nice. 16. So, so uh, it looks like a body under the towel, as far as you can tell, and the chair it's sitting on it seems to be made of like gold. Do I smell more lizard? No. This room smells a lot like dust and age and rot. Also, there is a stairway in this corner here that leads okay. downwards. And you said that he's sitting on something that looks like gold? Yes. Ivana, the smell doesn't get worse, but he's sitting on gold. Should I just hit it? No, stop hitting things. Yeah. Let's be a little bit not drunk about this. I take a swig from my tankard. If you don't mind my dwarven friend. I let him through. <laughs> do I do I need to make a roll to get over this? this uh, no, we'll just say it takes an extra five feet to kind of like shimmy around the edge of it. Because okay. it's, it's not big enough to take up the whole thing, but it's definitely big enough that you're going to want to take your time getting around so You want to take it slow type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Shimmy. Uh, Shimmy. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to hold the doorway just in case those zombies come storming up that staircase, so that way they okay. can all get I was, behind me if they need. Right, and I was going to mention, so you can see this, and I, I just got slightly distracted. Uh, that door stairways down is, like, barred with, like, metal strips. Like, it is sealed. Uh. I'm going to use Divine Sense. Uh, Alright, you can uh, sense massive amounts of evil coming from under that sheet. 
uh, I don't like the vibe that that uh, is giving. It's an immense amount of evil. But, alas, Pure if it is gold? evil, if it is evil, it must be dealt with. And you said Pure. there's gold underneath him, right? Yep, you can see the gold. Uh... My it's... pockets are empty, it's... and I think it... I want some of that. Didn't you say it was a golden chair? <laughs> yep. Well, it's yeah, like, it, it's... it's it's not just a chair, though. It's what he's sitting on is basically like a throne. I let Ivana buy me. Like switch on or well I, I yeah it, oh, okay yeah they're all everyone's kind of moving into the room it seems I'm just yeah. I'm holding the doorway should that panel not be as secure secure as it looks I've got my great sword out by the way I like that you're ready to go. There we go. Uh, I'm going to look around and see if there's anywhere I can place this torch so I don't have to hold it. There is a torch holder here and here. All right, I'm going to place the torch in the torch holder. All righty. And then I'm going to have my great sword, even though it's only six pounds, at the ready. <laughs> Look, you, that sounds not heavy until it smacks you in the side of the head and is sharp right um having said that that's good to good to know and i'm gonna assume that torch is good enough to light up this entire room oh yeah absolutely it should be from the mounted position or whatever not there it was i didn't mean to go first. and uh, i'm uh, going to i'm gonna assume there's a desk here maybe Yes, for, for for the moment, let's assume there's a desk there, and that uh, uh there's the big chair, there's the thing, there's the stairway in this corner, right. and then there is also I... uh, let's just say a random sack in the corner by over here. I'm just gonna do a quick once over of the desk, you know, see if I notice anything of. Well, is that desk here or is that upstairs? It's it's no, here. I, yeah, that one's not upstairs. So that's my bad. So, well, it's the map thing, but yeah. yes, there is a desk in this room. I rolled a nine on perception to see if I noticed anything important on the desk. Um, you see some papers and what looks to be like a metal sig uh, signet, like insignia. I'm going to grab the insignia. Okay. Does anything happen when I grab it? Nope. All right. Uh, I'm going to do a history on the insignia. Twenty-one. Nice. Uh, from what you can tell about this history, based on your prior <laughs> knowledge, is that this was not forged uh, anywhere near here. It looks like it's from a very far foreign land. Uh, the age of this is pretty old, but it looks like it's newer than everything else on the ship. Like, it's old, but not ancient. But yeah, that's pretty much all you can tell about it. It doesn't have any, like, bearing marks from history that you would know. Alright. Well... I want I want everyone to get into this room just in case. It's a good idea. So I'm gonna move over to the door, like right here, and I'm. Uh, I I have a feeling we should all gather in this room quick. I just barely entered the doorway. Alrighty. Uh, how long have we been in this room at this point? Because I'm just going to be staring at the dude. The, oh, the one in the chair? Probably yeah. a little over 10 seconds. Are okay. we going to be going after the guy in the chair? Oh, well, no, that's that's why I wanted everyone in the room. Because I was going to do something. Okay. I'm going to tell we... everybody to just 
hold on a minute and I'm going to use uh, one of my fighter abilities, know your enemy. Ooh. Oh, hang out if, for a minute. and Yeah, if you spend at least one minute observing or interacting with another creature outside of combat, you can learn information about its capabilities compared to your own. Strength well, score, dexterity score. That's the thing. You can't see it. It's under a sheet. That's what I was oh. wondering is if that was if that would work that way. Uh, but yes, currently it's covered by a sheet. Gotcha. Well, okay. it looks like a very fancy silk sheet, basically. Okay. I'm going to put my greatsword away real quick. I'm going to pull out my halberd, which has a reach of 10 feet. Ooh. And I'm going to try and just maneuver the sheet from off of it. I mean, that's what I was going to do. Great sword. Bef well, before, right as soon as you start to do that, from the sack behind you, this character pops out. Don't do that! Is that a pumpkin <laughs> baby or something? What the heck? <laughs> uh, upon first appearance, this seems to be a very tiny little female figure uh, that was hiding in the sack. And I mean, Perception. pretty tiny. Perception. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Uh, it looks like a small gnome. Like a gnome child. Hmm. And she's just, like, hiding the thing. She has, like, a, a rucksack around her thing. She's covered in, like, dirty clothes. And, like... Wait, she was in the sack? Yeah. She was in a sack, I... and she has a sack. Okay, I closed the sack back up. <laughs> no, 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 let me out of the sack! And I throw over my shoulder. I feel like all these are still require rolls. So you gotta make a dick, uh, probably a dexterity and then a strength. Yeah, Dicky is typing. Uh-oh. Double uh-oh. That was that was really fucking weird. Discord just yeah, like, just cut out. Okay, yeah, that yeah. I didn't hear anyone for a second too. I was like, what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> I was really confused too. I was like, because I couldn't hear on, anyone. I was like, what? All right, yeah. I feel like the those actions should definitely require a uh, dexterity and strength check to, gra to uh, grab to so grab that. Dexterity check. Yes. Then strength just, check. Just for Oof. clarification. Yeah, what's going no. On? Uh, he was trying to rucksack the gnome. Oh. Which I which I think would be a strength check, but I think it would once you were able to like get the rucksack around him. So it'd be a matter of being quick enough to. Pull the rucksack around him, and then to be able to drag him off. And so basically, when you tried to pull the rucksack up and back around him, they just hopped out of the sack. They're like, "Hey, now I have a sack." Don't... Yeah, you do have their sack though, but they do have another sack. That was their hiding sack. I'm gonna look at the gnome, and I'm just gonna. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm gonna intimidate her. I asked first. All right, roll your intimidation. Oh, fuck. You don't <laughs> really even have to bother. She just, like, starts crying. Like, uncontrollably. At which point you see the, the sheets start to rustle. Burn the sheet! But the torch is lighting the area. I can't see without the torch. We burn the sheet. We might let this entire ship go up in flames. I put my I put the tip of my arrow in the in the torch, <laughs> and then I fire at the at the sheet. Ooh, you have to go all the way over there to do it. Says for Decker to check Discord. Oh yes. Ah, oh, and goodness. I just what is this? this is her list of uh, abilities. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. I don't think she has anything. On the bright side, there will be more com stuff coming. You'll be all right.
Ye. Okay, so I try to light my arrow on the on the torch. They let me. I think it does, but flaming arrows have to be like constructed out of. Uh, so, I like it will the light sack on that fire. I just stole around the arrow. <laughs> right, the sack will now be on fire. But does he it's... let me, or does he like move the torch away? I mean, that's up to him. I can't decide what he does. I mean, as long to be as fair, as long as he's the... not holding the torch anymore either. It's mounted yeah. on this wall scone, so it's not like yeah. you can. Oh. It's my, yeah, it's oh. mounted on a wall scone over here. I mean, as long as it doesn't sit there and, you know, put I'm, the torch out, I'm fine. I just think um, it's funny, because to make, like, a, a, a practical flaming arrow, you have to have, like, grease or oil to make the fire no, I'm not, spread. I'm not, I'm not using a, a ranged weapon that clo close to this thing. I put my longbow away. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm doing it right in its face. You're five inches How? from it. Okay. Seeing as I'm closer to this throne, I'm ignoring the gnome because it's a gnome kid and I'm not about to chase him through the ship and accidentally have them fall into the hole and die. Yeah, she um, just sitting in the corner crying. <laughs> yeah, how, I, I intimidated the fuck out of her. How, like, uh, nailed down does this throne appear to be? Oh. Let's say the throne itself... I'd have to do the math. The throne is probably, like, 2,000 pounds. It's a miracle. It's, gold. it's solid gold. It's not gold-plated. It's a the you can see the wood bowing beneath it, as if it could break through the ship at any time. And he's sitting in it. Yes. In front of a desk. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna try and move behind it. Okay. Because he's he should really be kind of like right here, but it's fine. He's it's hard for me to put him exactly where he's supposed to be. Yeah, I'll put him. I'll put my guy there. Yeah. Just so that be. It's a little easier that way. We we kind of know. But yes, that's he's that's pretty, fine. He's pretty much right there. Yeah, he's in between where these two things would sit, sitting yeah. on that what is should essentially be a chair for his desk. But I can't do no. it because I have the grid on. You can't do it because you have the grid on. How dare! I know. <laughs> Damn me. How dare? Um, I I don't know where push pull tug stuff is. Oh God, it's so uh, fucking shove. Yeah, it's under shove. It's stupid. It's it's like a strength straight strength check if I remember correctly. Yes. I wonder if it'd just be under strength. It is. It's just, it's a strength roll. No, I understand, but I need to know what the, the values are. Shoving. Because my strength is 15. Uh, you, instead of making an attack roll, you make a strength athletics check contested by the target's athletics or dexterity acrobatics. Or in this yeah, case, since I'm just we're doing weight, I just determine whether or not the strength check is high enough to move said thing. Yeah. Etc. Okay. Well, I have a strength of fifteen, and I have all of my weights doubled, and I have advantage on strength checks to push, pull, lift, and break objects. Okay. So that means you can roll again. Oh wait, that or yeah, you can double roll. I can double roll to do it, plus all of my weight distributions are doubled for a strength 15. So okay. I effectively have a strength 30. Gotcha. And what I want to do is right. I want to trap this body underneath the chair. So you're trying to flip the chair over. Yes. All right, go ahead and make a, a roll for the chair flipping. Straight strength? Yeah. Three and... That almost seems like an impossible feat. It basically is. If you don't get a crit, it's basically not happening. But, oh yeah, for, yeah. That chair is stupid, dumb, heavy. That's why I wanted. That's why I want to know what I can actually dumb push, thing. because I. I, I think if you were to put numbers, I can push two thousand. If I think you can push right, because your push level is different from carry level. Correct. Damn it's like times four. Push. I just I don't remember what the hell it is. It should be under carrying capacity under the same area. Okay, it's it's apparently it's just based under strength. I just got to find where the hell they put strength in the player's handbook. Cuz it's stupid. <laughs> All right, um, using lifting and carrying. No, I need pushing. Uh You can push, draft or lift twice your carrying your strength score. Yeah. So whatever your strength so, score is, times 30 is the weight that you can actually that, push. That's 450 and then times 2, so I'd, I'd be able to push 
right uh, 900 pounds and so just to do a uh and if this thing is 2000 <laughs> yeah it's big how much weight i'm gonna do a real estimate for the chair no that's not uh because yeah I, yeah I would i would need to have a 20 strength what's rage to do that to yeah pull that off. i think yeah. and that's what i would say is like and even then you might need a fucking crit because it would just means, be which so which means we're not much. getting the chair out it i don't think you are not that yeah, way no at way least. of getting the chair out at least not that way there may be some other ways of getting chairs and stuff out cough portals uh <laughs> just just saying you guys have already been through one portal but yeah my estimate on that chair is got a, at least one ton maybe not two but it would be redonkulously heavy because let's see bar of gold weight uh 14.2 kilograms so if anyone wants to do the conversions but that's uh that is roughly 31 point pounds yeah and i'd say you would need well, uh, 2000 isn't isn't unreasonable for a chair like that makes sense i still think it it's a little means... heavy it just means you can't push it yes However, you Without might be able to move it. Yeah. I can't Not alone. All. Well, okay, here's the thing about gold. Gold is a very soft metal, so what you do with it, you can easily break it. You absolutely can. You can also use That's heat to true. quickly disassemble it. I was also going to mention you have a giant-ass Goliath on your party right next to you, whose strength score is a 20. And while one of you might not be able to push that big bitch, two or three people, you know. Oh. I mean... And the other thing about Goliaths, where is you that? You count as one size. You, you count as one yes. size larger. Right? So he gets an yes. increased carrying capacity because of that, and therefore gets increased push capacity. Well, I get in, uh, one size larger when determining carrying capacity and the weight I can push, drag, yes. or lift. Yep. I mean, that's the only thing that I can think of at this point is either a grab the gnome, and I'm th this is me in character talking to you is. Grab the gnome, burn the ship down, or topple the chair so that this thing can't get out from underneath it, and just poke at it until it's gone. <laughs> uh, I knew that's what you were thinking of doing, because there's like three monsters that could be on the ship and still lift that chair. <laughs> Every other monster would be far too big to be in here. And if and if we topple that chair on top of this creature and the creature tosses the chair out, we should be burning the ship and running. Yeah, at that point, that creature is far beyond. Far, far beyond the normal. Well, we gotta take some of the chair. Well, if, that, if, if that's what we need to do, then we need to kill this thing. But let's put ourselves in the best advantageous position as we can to try and take it down, because big evil to... does not inspire a lot of confidence. Right. So the the gnome has finally uh, come out of its uh, terror that was inspired by its crit fail. I offer it booze. It's I it's, offer it, it's booze. it says I'm 17 in no years. I offer it booze. It drinks. There we go. Boy nah, or girl? Now nah, it has to make a Constitution saving throw to see if it's drunk. It is hey, drunk. If it gets drunk, it's perfectly fine because. Oh then God! It is going. now drunk. Okay. Don't worry, little one. We got this. You stand over there. I point towards the hallway, back towards Niels. He's like, "Don't do it. This is a bad idea. Don't move the thingy." And then she just moves over here. And she's like, "Hi, lady." Hi. I'm I'm following her. I look I look at I look at Nils and I give her a wink. I helped. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I would like to go over to the girl and cast Lesser Restoration on her. Ooh. So she is not drunk anymore. Very nice. And I'm going to ask her, wait, why why don't you want us to move that thing? What did it, what has it done? The sheet it it keeps us safe. Safe from the thing underneath it? Yeah. What? 
how did the thing underneath it come to be here? I don't know. It's It's been here a lot longer than we were. How did you get here? Well, we've crashed a long time ago. But you aren't supposed to be able to crash in the sky. We still can't figure out where we're at. We've been here for like 10 years. You keep saying we. Who is we? Us. The, the gnomes. Are you, are you new here? How'd you get here? How? Oh, Jesus Christ. How long, how long have you been in that sack? Um, I heard some noises from upstairs and I was taught to always hide whenever I hear noises until it's quiet again. Do the other gnomes do that as well? Most of them, but they don't usually come into the dangerous areas like I do. Well, where are they now? They should be back at our home. It's a few ships down. It wow. may not look like it from down here, but th all these ships are connected. Oh. Well, I'm gonna... I... <laughs> Jesus Christ, these rolls. What the... You go ahead and do that while like I just a yeah just keep <laughs> yeah just compose a little bit while I deal with these people trying to do this <laughs> in the background. All you hear is. <laughs> <laughs> Push like you mean it. I blame Ivana. She left us alone. <laughs> <laughs> I blame um, you two for being weaklings. I could probably do that by myself. <laughs> Come on, you dwarf! Put your back into it. Are you letting us do it? I make it again. I try again. Okay. <laughs> oh God, jeez. Oh, all right. So base, <laughs> they're just going. <laughs> so they're totally uncoordinated, pushing back and forth. Basically, you just see them just like randomly shoving. Like, you see it budge just a little bit every once in a while, or and, like, once, like, they lock up their rhythms and actually manage to, like, give it a little bit of a push-up, but then it rocks back into them and pushes them back into the wall behind them. It doesn't hurt them, it just, like, knocks them back to let them know. It's like, no, you are man, I'm and I am shit. I'm against the back wall and try to kick off of it. <laughs> I mean, hey, man, that might be worth advantage. Nope. No, no, I don't know if that chair's going down with your guys' rolls to stay. You know what? Alright. How many I, times do I let okay. you try this before something okay. bad happens is the real question. Decker, I know Ivana wanted the chair because she's kind of short on money right now, but money is not the main goal. Step away from the chair. I take a step away from the chair. I take a long what? swig it, it, from I, my defeat. <laughs> Did I hear them trying to push the thing over? I feel like you would have heard oh, that. Oh, we were annoyed. You would absolutely. Right. After the sixth roll, I think you would have absolutely I, heard some grunting and moaning, and she's just like, what's going on? I, I take my sword, and Before... I slash at the floor to break the floor underneath the chair. Okay. That, all right, make, make an attack roll against the wooden floor. I am pulling out my bedroll and handing it to this girl. Pointing, towards the, pointing, pointing to the corner and say, hide again for me. I'll be back for you. She basically disappears, like, crazily fast. She is in the bedroll, and then you don't even see the bedroll anymore somehow. All right. I watch Kapora take this fucking swig at the floor, and I start cheering, cheering him on. Yeah, I'll take that, bad evil. <laughs> out, of, out of curiosity, does Eleven hit the floor? <laughs> I mean, it hits the floor. Now you gotta roll damage. All right. Now, roll. if it hits where you wanted to hit, is another question. <laughs> so two d six plus my five damage. Twelve. Da oh, I get to re-roll that one. So that's fifteen. Fifteen yeah. damage to the floor. All righty. You know, I was smart about entering this room. <laughs> you were. <laughs> oh, 
Where is this damn wood? Why am I not showing up? There we go. Uh, so you hack at that, and... Oh, yeah, this is an old one. You are able to break the floor. Uh, you see the, the wood start to splinter around that side of the room, basically. Do I see that? Yes. So you would be able to see it's... Yep. And in fact, you see the cracks spreading over to your side. And let me make a roll. <laughs> to see if you fall in too. <laughs> Pretty much. So the floor breaks out from under. You I do see 13 the... damage on, the, on my side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no. All right. So then the cracks in the floor continue spreading. Uh, the floor goes... I run? <laughs> I grab... <laughs> you better on, make a... On, yeah, I'm, you better I'm hurry. Gonna do, I'm gonna see I'm gonna how long this takes. To jump back. You better. Where seventeen. And yep. a seven. I got eighteen. As I have, I have advantage on. Oh, okay. I, I see. Uh, <sighs> did you also add the plus three for my aura? No, he didn't. I didn't. So it's a twenty-one. Alrighty. So you guys should be fine. Uh, you see, the floor gives out under him and. Immediately collapses on you. Jump here, but the whole floor is collapsed even to there. So you're basically hanging on to the edge of the floor. <laughs> Meanwhile, I we didn't do it. <laughs> the floor has come crashing down. The desk falls into the bottom area, which is full of mummies once again. Probably like ten just in this bottom area that you can see through the floor where you're currently, you know, looking. Uh, and this falls down, and the cloth that was on top of it falls off and flutters to the ground. Uh, it is, it also falls to the ground, uh, and the chair continues to fall through the bottom of the floor and down through the bottom of the ship. Ivana, we figured out, Ivana, we figured out how to get the, the chair off of the ship. But you won't be happy. <laughs> but you are not going to be happy about it. <laughs> I, will, I will step into the doorway and see everything has just gone to shit. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it oh, so much. No. Ivana looks down at me, right? Ivana looks down at me like, like, that's what, what I need to do. And I look, I look at Ivana straight in, straight in her eyes and I go, this is what we call helping, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, so it did get it off the ship. <laughs> so it just crashed through the entire bottom of the ship. Yes. Yep. There's so there's a hole underneath it. Just all the way through the fucking second and third layers of the ship. So it's now falling down towards the ground. Yep. And it's, at least we know where it is. It's a pretty okay. special monster, but mm. I'm not sure it can live through that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, use my natural uh, acrobat no, not acrobatics, athletics to pull myself up, which would be a 19. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll kick him back down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as I'm falling, I'm gonna sit there and make a reflex to try to grab him on it and pull me with. <laughs> Both of those so, like, are I'm grapple for him then. <laughs> That would also be a grapple, yes. But right. that would also be an attack roll for him. Yes. Okay, I'll do my attack roll first. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a natural one, so that's not working. <laughs> no, in fact, you you tried to kick him, missed, and you are now also hanging precariously from a ledge. <laughs> Damn it. I oh, use guys, you to join us. <laughs> I use my athletics to try and push Ivana back into the doorway. 19. Yeah, that'll probably work there. That's pretty good. Right. <laughs> okay. So yeah, and then I, 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 and then I try and help uh, Zip Kapora up there. Oh, I don't need help. I have a natural 19 to my. Yeah, he I, just kind of like athletic. puts his foot. Well, I'm still up. helping other. <laughs> just in case. I love that she's just watching from back there. <laughs> I just want some damn freaking gold. Where's that stupid gnome? <laughs> <laughs> 
Cathar's, this is when we get into the selling gnome market, I guess. Cathars finally shows up. He's like, what the fuck happened? I heard all kinds of noise. <laughs> you get away from me. I'm not having you right now. All right, I'm going this way. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna try and get myself out of the, the hole uh, with a 19. That seems I'll... like a good roll. It's really good to see you, Neely. He gives a wink. Oh, hi. Pushes, pushes on by. I think it's time we land this thing, torch it, and figure out where that fucking chair went. No! Wait. You mean yes? All right? of these ships are connected. Uh, it's a flotilla? What? You're gonna have us not burn down those little children's homes, huh? Yeah, you burn this down, you burn down an entire civilization. Well, so far she's the only one alive. On this one. She did mention that there were other ships. Remember those ropes up top? I have a feeling I know where they go now. Could we cut the ropes? Yeah, sure, that's what we'll do. We'll cut the ropes and we'll burn it and then we'll, we'll land it and then we'll burn it. Someone From out of nowhere, you just hear a squeak and it's just like, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh god, the crap. Can't you ever tell us anything useful besides, I wouldn't do that? Well, maybe if you listened! Hey, hey, I did listen. I didn't touch the shawl thing. We well, at least the floor. <laughs> did 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 it work Fair out? Point. How'd that work out? Well, the thing's not on the ship anymore. I wonder where wrong. it is. Oh. <laughs> and what uh, what were you after? Well, well this this lady here points to the bottom. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> and what was the goal of? The throne. Just gonna let you sit on that. She pops down from a rafter and pops out of the, uh... What was it you gave her again? I gave her a bedroll. Yeah, a bedroll. She pops out of the bedroll. She's like, I like this. This is better than my regular sack. Alright, well, I'll buy you another one sometime, but I kinda, I kinda need that one. Okay. She gives it back to you. Alex! I see! Alex! Yes! Okay! Always fun with that. Um, I climb up. Nope. I nod at Neil's. Wait, you you don't want to burn the child's home down, but you don't want to give it your bedroll. I feel <laughs> like that's not the. Those aren't the I closest. Have one gold. I, feel, I can't <laughs> buy a bedroll. I feel like those are not as close as you made it sound right there. <laughs> Like, those are one step away. Like, not burning someone to death and buying them a bedroll. I think there's a lot of territory to cover in between that. I don't think it really matters to me either. <laughs> I think you're right. So, no, where where's the rest of, of your clan? Uh, if we head to... And, and, and bear with me here. We gotta get to the north. So, don't call her no. What's your, what's your name? Oh, uh, Lydia. Hi, Lydia. I'm Ivana. It's nice okay, to meet so you. Absolutely great. So, no, we're going north. Uh, we just came south. That's where, that's where we gotta get to. But you can't just go straight north. There's, there's like air in between. I mean, we. I mean. Oh God. Can we fly the ship? Uh, I mean. I mean, the ship may be missing a rudder. Full disclosure. Uh, it's not good. Um, the ships are all connected to the same buoyant system. So is all there this... a lead ship? There is, but it's a centered ship, so it doesn't actually lead. But it's what controls everything. Yes, there is a controlled ship. It's right in the and center, but we don't go there. And which ship do you come from? Uh, I come from the north ship. That ship is what you would call the lead ship. It's in the front, and it has the fronty parts. We do. They don't. They don't do, teach school up here. Do we? Do we know how far down it is? Um. I don't know, but what I do know is that the air around here is not safe. Around this ship, or around the entire civilization? The whole civilization. It's become its own ecosystem. I have an idea. I feel he like says, this might be rare. Up to the <laughs> <deck>. <laughs> no. This is like, no. I feel like this is a rare occasion for him. 
wiggles around. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I already ran upstairs. And try to I, uh... like. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a perception check to see if I can find an anchor. Oh, there. Yeah. I'm gonna I ask. showed. <laughs> I, I cannot find an anchor. <laughs> I introduced gnome to Ducko. Oh god. Is that a duck in your beard? No. His name is Donnie. Oh, don't taint her. Don't that taint duck her. Is, the duck is weird. Keep it away from me. Yes, Quack. I love you, little gnome girl. <laughs> little gnome girl, how dare you insult Donnie? Shut up, random drunk guy. <laughs> I will not have this. It looks hey, like you don't have much of anything. Anchor. Little gnome girl is not very helpful. But. Little gnome girl, why were you here with all the undead? I was looking for something that was on the table. What was on the table? I was a signet. It's special, though. It's magic. Oh. Did, did the table walk the fall through the entire. Show? No, it's done with the zombies. Are you okay. talking about that thing I grabbed off the table? We don't know. You're not there. They, yeah, they would. Uh, yeah, that's exactly out of character, and 100% no one would have noticed or known. Yep. So who's fighting zombies, baby? Uh, I'll walk over to that hole, and I'll see how far down it is. Um, the hole's not very far down. It's probably like 10 feet, you know, average floor level. Um, obviously, the there's the giant, you know, 10 by... 15 fucking hole in the ground right there's even the table? stairway uh this table is fallen through to the second oh, okay so it's all gone yeah so everything from basically let's see if i can get a square now because I, I put that one first to show where he fell through because and the reason i did that is he fell through all the way through both layers gotcha. but only the top layer the second layer of this other piece has been cut down. And so the table, which was on it, flipped over and fell in. The stairway, which came up, collapsed, including the metal that was keeping it. And so now the mummies are just trapped down there being like, Rrr. there's also, the there is also the sheet that was covering whatever was in that chair that did not fall with it. What, do I notice a signet anywhere? Uh, n not without closer, like, it would be hard to even tell if you could or couldn't see it, you know? Gotcha. But well, I'd have to probably get down there if I wanted to check for it. Yes, there's just so much debris and zombies and shit, it would be tough to look through it all. And hopefully having it not fallen all the way through the ground right. to the ground. Yay! Okay, well, that's, uh, that might not be on the table anymore, but I'm... Um, okay. um <laughs> I take a tent hook out of my backpack. Okay. And I tie it to the other end of my rope. I would ask for a standard craftsman check. That's intelligence. I believe it is because they took out crafting. Those bastards. I'm I'm doing another perception check looking for anchor. Okay. Make your roll. Eight. No, that's not me. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute, Ami. Uh, you're you're good for constructing that. That's pretty simple, pretty easy. Eighteen. You uh are able to find the anchor. It is up here, but it looks like it has been disconnected from the anchoring mechanism, which is back here. Hmm. It is on deck, though. Hmm. I'm trying to simply old school fisherman the the shawl out. While you do that, she's going to be talking to uh. Yes. But God damn it, I never remember all the names. Alana, Liana, Ivana. Blah, blah, blah. Ivana. I was close, damn it. I'm always close. Okay, I don't remember the gnome's name either. She doesn't either. Lydia. It was Tabitha. Lydia. <laughs> Lydia Tabitha. <laughs> yeah, it's Lydia. Um, Lydia looks up and she says, well, if we can't get the ring, we should at least get the shawl. It's not as useful, but it's pretty good. The thing that was covering the other thing? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a really nice uh, cloth piece of sheet. It's really soft. <laughs> Going back to look. You see me sitting on the edge, tying a, a hook to the end of a rope. What are you? What are you doing? I'm gonna fish for the shawl. 
Oh, I like this. Okay. So, do need, so do you need me to hold you by your waist so you can? If you could actually hold my shoulders, seeing as I'm sitting on the ground, that would actually help. Well, no. You. What if you stood up? I hold you by the 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 cuff of your pants and what you, do you do lean this? out. See a little bit farther. Just be careful. I wear kilts like you're like you're meant to. <laughs> <laughs> like a real man. I've seen bigger things. Let's do it. Oh, I'm a dwarf, man. I'm. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. guessing dex rolls to, to make this happen. Yes. Do I need to roll anything with my 18th? Nope. 18th strength. Good. That oh. One. Oh. No, oh, but what you could do is maybe try to roll an assist him from falling in the fucking hole. Because if you don't assist him, someone's taking a dive into the second, the third level. <laughs> oh, wait. Assist him? Sorry, it must have cut out a little bit. Um, okay, I'll, I'll assist him somehow. Well, he's, gr he's holding on to me, so I don't fall over. Well, that would depend on his strength, wouldn't it? So he's got to make a strength rules to save him, basically. Let's go 18. Or wait, no. Wait, just straight strength or athletics? I will allow either. If we do athletics, then it's 18. All right. We'll take that. We'll say you saved him. Uh, for future efforts, you can assist someone in an action... Uh, by saying you're going to assist them and it will give them advantage on the action. Yeah, oh. I would. I would have done that. It's just I couldn't think of a like a good way to assist. Yeah, a I way was, to assist. So I, was, I think the way you were assisting was pretty much the best way to assist. It's just not very assisty. But you did save him from falling in a hole as he goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I appreciate it. There's no time to dick around small stuff. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I try. Can I try again? Gotta do it one more time. I'll have a harder grip. 20? Not Nat. Uh, 20 should absolutely get you, get the job done. Okay. It's So I start hauling the shawl up towards me. I refuse to touch it. Uh, as wow. soon as it's about halfway up, one of the mummies sees it and grabs onto it. Not the shawl, but the stick. The, the rope? The yeah, rope. Uh, I thought it was... I'm, I'm okay with that. I keep, I keep hauling the rope up. Okay. So, um, put the mummy on it. I would say a little more of a strength check on that, but then you're okay. good to go. Uh, and go ahead. Uh, 18 strength? That's good. Uh, sorry, go ahead, game. I don't mean to interrupt you. My bad. I was, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna let go of one of my hands and pull out my hand axe and throw it at the guy who's. Yeah, who's I feel like that's on, doable. On the stick. The hand axe just. That means I'm gonna be gone. A hand axe, but my one just... gold can can help that. Um. Okay. So attack roll. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, 12. Uh, I don't know if that hits, but... That should hit, yes. All right. And then... Granted, I guess I could have given you disadvantage for such a weird attack, but I feel like it was reasonable. Well, if you want to, I can try and get higher than a, or a lower. No, no, no. It, it's fine. I'm just, <laughs> I was just thinking to myself of whether or not it was worthwhile for that. It's not. It's It shouldn't be right. that difficult, you know what I mean, to okay. pull it out while you're... It's the same as pulling your keys out when you're holding groceries, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. You got, a, you got a strong arm on the one side and just pull out your keys. And yep, you're just like, God damn it, fucking arch yep. back a little. Eh. A total of nine damage to that. Very nice. Uh, it goes, and it let goes. <laughs> and it falls back down with a thud. Well, I just lost the hand axe, but... I try not to drag the shawl over Ivana. Okay. So you are able to successfully pull the shawl in. The shawl I don't into the know shawl whether that the... other guy who was the one that identified it as evil was it Ivana? No, uh, that was... yeah, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was not Ivana. It was yeah, that was Kapora. Yeah. yeah, so Kapora said it was evil, but we weren't sure if it was the shawl that was evil or the creature that was evil. So I would probably not want to touch this. 
Um, what is this? Uh, what is this shawl supposed to do? What what I, makes it so magical? She she runs in and like grabs it and like snuggles it. She's I she. Put, uh, I put her in the shawl in the sack. Good. <laughs> I feel like this once again requires a dexterity roll, <laughs> then a strength roll. What's wrong with you and children? Why are you sacking children? Thirteen. Uh, that. Let's make a counter roll. Fuck. Yeah, she's got your dexterity, but I rolled bad, so she's in a sack now. And she's going. I don't close it. I just. I don't close it. I just. I put her in the sack and I gently hold her up, and I and we start walking upstairs. She's going to try to immediately escape from the sack. She got an okay. eighteen. She's leaving the sack. Okay, well we're leaving, so you can either come up. with us or you can stay here I'll, with the zombies. I think I'll go with you. Also, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna pick her up and carry her upstairs. Yay! Make that make that deck save. <laughs> no, she, no, she likes, likes you. me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, she, I uh, liquor. She, she like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gave you a child. I got a man this kid loves me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> don't even know. But she, uh, she does let you pick her up and carry her. All right, cool. I'm that fun uncle. <laughs> You're the one carrying around a freaking duck. I am carrying around a duck. That makes me blessed. Quack. I hate you more. <laughs> Shut up, duck. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Donnie! <laughs> you shut up too! I will! I jump over the hole. I feel like that is a. Since you're jumping it as opposed to slowly sidestepping it, is a definite save function. Gotta. Gotta save yourself. That save in case of the saviness. And that's why I Eight. asked. Yeah. You know. It's a shit, it's a small hole. It's not I bad. I think it was that big of a deal. Yeah, it's it's not that big of a deal. That one isn't at least. Oh, the one here. Yeah. Yeah. I tried leaping it cuz I was just like it's it's 5 feet. Like I should be able to jump with a strength of 15. I should be able to jump 15 feet. Oh yeah, I did if you want to take your <laughs> average, always say I just take my uh take my oh. 10. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, you can always take a 10 with me as long as it's not an opposing roll. Or a or act, it's dangerous. Yeah, or like a real fucking, like if it was a death trap or some shit, I might be like, nah, you're going to have to roll because that's somewhat okay. random chance. Um, I don't leave Ivana down here. I wait for Ivana to catch up. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll just tell Lydia to, to wrap him around me like a spider monkey as I skirt along the edge. Okay, she uh, basically wraps her arm around you but without choking you and holds on for dear life exactly that's how we make that's how we make uh sound effects in, in D &D. so this other ship is the one that's tied behind us are you asking me or her um, whoever is up top here, as as I get closer. Uh, you've got, I believe, both Neely and Kapoor are up top fiddling around with stuff. <laughs> that sucked. Uh, Kapura, the little girl has the shawl now. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, why do you got the shawl? Because we fished it out. Why? Because she said it was important. She was looking for it. Uh-huh. It belongs to it, my people. She said it was second fiddle to a ring, though. Yeah, the uh, ring was better. But this is still good. I mean, still, right as Scaven, she's, she, she's cuddling up with our artifacts, but she can have it for right now. Uh-huh. What, what ring is she talking about? Who's 
some ring on the desk that she was looking for. That's why she was over here. Do you just trust being a child with your stuff? It's not our stuff. To be, isn't Ivana the the, the Goliath? I am uh, an ASMR. Oh. I'm the Goliath. He's the Goliath. Which, God, at, I'm which just at this point. the Goliath point, of a woman. Which at this point, anyone who's on the top deck sees that I've tied the anchor chain to the guardrail and has now lifted up the anchor. Wait, was the anchor not on the ship? Oh, no, it was on the ship. It just wasn't attached to the anchor mechanism. Oh, okay. I am not trusting her with anything. Ivana is trusting her with the blanket. She is snuggling the blanket when she looks over and says, Is that the anchor? Is holding anchor and tosses it over the side. Maybe. Oh, Lord. Yeah, oh, I knew he was going to do it, but <laughs> I just didn't think that you would let him do it. I brace. To be fair, he did that all in secret, private messages. Not going to lie. I am going to run over. I'm going to put Lydia down, and I'm going to run over as fast as I can with my greatsword and try and chop that. that rope. It's, it's not rope. It's chain. It's chain? Yep. Yes. It's Heavy a metal chain. chain. But which, by the way, you're going to have to roll to pop that anchor over. That is a ship anchor. Even with I your mean, unhuman strength, that thing is supposed to moor a ship in the sea and should weigh. Like I said, it's not its not that you could not lift it, but to quickly pop it up and throw it over the side would definitely require a good check. I mean, I didn't say I quickly did it. I said I walked over and lifted it up. They asked me, and as they asked me, I kind of <laughs> dropped it over. Okay, so you were already prepared to drop it over the edge. Yes. Just kind of hold it. All right, we'll, we'll count that as a fair action so it is currently plummeting down uh you can see the rope basic or you know the chain i keep saying rope but the chain winding or unwinding from where the it was stacked on the ground which by the way he never said he unwound it so the mechanism was originally here the, the hook was originally here he pulled the hook and the end over here but it is roughly scattered about here let me see if i can draw a line I'm going to draw this one in red. No, green. Y'all might want to grab onto something. I already said I braced. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to, like, walk over here, and I'm just going to, like, grab onto the railing on the steps. Also, <laughs> to grab me. I brace myself between the legs of Zipporah. <laughs> it's a safe place oh uh, shit <laughs> that chain's all over the place I am going to grab the chain somewhere and try and brace myself to make sure that it doesn't hit the ground and we keep moving <laughs> <laughs> so I'd probably, I'd probably like grab it and then if there's like a spot next to the stairs where I can like hunker down and just brace for it trying to yank me along with it or something you, like that you can definitely do that uh be, go ahead and make i feel like that can be either athletics or strength because it's really is a combination of both okay um as far as everybody else make a reflex save <laughs> hey lydia have you ever got a chain to the face <laughs> this one time when Which i was I in oh my down. god <laughs> So Wait, remember, twenty-three. Oh, nice. Remember, no, no. Okay, remember, nice. if you're within ten feet of me, you get a plus three reflex saves. It's not a I'm saving throw, though. Oh, yeah. But what would it be? Yeah, so I it'd it was be, a saving throw. It, it, yeah, yeah it it's, your dex, it's your well, dexterity. Well, no, well, they're doing a different one than you are. Uh, you're right, doing one right, for right. strength to pull the chain. So because you're pulling yeah. the chain, you don't really need to worry about the chain hitting you. You already have the chain. Right. <laughs> They're trying to stay out of the way of the chain. I rolled a nine. Yes, you did. With your plus three. Yep. I had a plus four for my dex and then plus three. Seven. So uh, nimbly and with great astuteness, both Decker, his drunk ass, and, uh, you know, Nilly are able to just kind of like side slide it. You know, they're able to be like, ah, oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> He's like, nope. 
Uh, un- unfortunately for Kapura, who, <laughs> by the way, would be the closest to the ba- you know, the blast radius wherever. I don't even see your character at the moment, actually. It's oh, right underneath Neri. Oh, that would be why. Where it shouldn't be. Oh, no. It should definitely still be over uh, over where you dropped that bitch. <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean, I, I said I walked over to the railing here and braced myself on the railing. I specifically said that I got between Kapora's legs and braced myself. You did say that. Uh, which is pretty funny because you are safe, but Kapora is not and gets <laughs> smacked by the chain as it comes by. Do I get do I get a reaction to try to stabilize Kapora? You definitely can. Uh, the chain only does one damage for now, but it uh, it's going to drag him forward with a strength check, and so you guys are going to have to resist that strength check. Uh, one... 20 plus my strength save 27 <laughs> or no just strength check sorry 24 24 uh right. remember add that plus three it's not a save though it's just it's a check yep oh yeah because he's holding on to you well if it's just a check i get a plus five so effectively, Kapura, <laughs> so effectively so you Kapura, those waving flailing arm two bands yeah no <laughs> basically you were able to hold on to the ankles and feet but he definitely gets blasted off of his feet and falls flat on his face, taking more damage. Seven damage. All right, so I'm taking eight damage total. Yep, one from getting a chain to the back of the face, ba- head basically, and then another from face palming directly into the ground while someone holds your ankles so that you don't Can go, you go flying down the stairs off the or up the stairs. Uh, the stairs are luckily on the other end of the. Uh... Well, the oh, these stairs. Yes, yeah, those ones. Uh, that I could, he would be going forward the way the chain is going off the edge over here okay. and all right so, so back. I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna pull myself like right there seems about right you would still be holding on you'd still be here which is what his strength check was for to make sure you didn't fly off the ship uh, but you are fl- flat on your face <laughs> and the chain is still unraveling by the way that's just the first couple seconds of the chain unraveling <laughs> it's immediately uh, goes boom, 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 bam dunk, dunk. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself up to my feet and I'm gonna like move like right, and I'm over and here away from all the other chains. And now that that's resolved, we can resolve the strength check to see if the chain no longer moves thanks to the valiant efforts of our friend Gamma, which was twenty three. That is absolutely uh, enough to stop that chain. That is a very good roll. I applaud you. However, uh, that stops it at wherever you happen to grab it. Which I would I would probably say that I'd probably go over here okay. if the, it's like just to brace myself on this part. Gotcha. So in the meantime, the rest of the chain, luckily, like I said, because you're braced on the chain, you're safe now and you've made the strength check. So that's what that that strength check is basically in preparation for the chain going taut mm-hmm. when it hits the bottom or to keep right. like you said, to keep it from hitting the bottom. Um. Now I have to retract the rope, which I don't know how to delete this. <laughs> and so now it's going to be a little less long and another color. Because this is how far it was going for retraction. We'll say this is the end point, say about halfway. And everyone else is going to have to make one more uh save don't forget to add your bonuses from michael singh for the reflex that's only if you're within 10 okay so everyone within i think everyone's within your range right now with the exception Uh, of lydia uh 21 do i i don't have to make oh wait where are you because you should be here i I was gonna unless you've moved since then i was gonna say i got myself up on my feet and moved away from the chain Gotcha. Which, that was where the chain was not. Yarg. Well, the chain was spread throughout the deck so that when it draws in, it's going to naturally pull the chain around. And you got to remember there's stuff on the top deck that the chain is basically pulling down or and is altering the chain's trajectory. So like barrels, etc. And he ropes the cannon. <laughs> yeah. There's my strength safe. Wait, what happened to the reflex one? 
Unless you're oh, holding the chain. Oh, it was a reflex. My bad. On the bright side, he could save everyone but himself. Ha-ha! <laughs> not great, but at least it's not a super fail. It is a little better. Uh, it was not good enough. Uh, but luckily this time, you know, you've moved. There's less chain. Oh, but unfortunately my roll was better. So you take three damage. Woohoo! But uh, with the better strength save, you do not, are not in danger of just, like, falling over. How much damage have you sustained right now? 24 damage. It's a decent throughout amount. This, th throughout this entire session. Which, really, we haven't done too much. Hey, I took a few good hits from those mummies. Mummies, yeah. To be fair, the mummies are lightweights. You guys are fine. But, yes, and at this point, uh, our hero Gamma has stopped the chain, so she's holding it, you know, and it is no longer falling down to the thing. However, it is kind of dragging along the edge here. Uh, not falling anymore, but just kind of dragging along the edge and pulling at the uh, side guardrails. Why? Why are we trying to stop this boat? So we can get off of it. I'm sure there's a better way to do that than stopping all of the boats. Climbing down the chain seems like a pretty reasonable thing. Yeah, but that would also probably stop all the other boats around here, which would make them crash into each other. That would then kill a bunch of people up here, kill this girl. You know, it's pretty not cool. Let me tell you an old dwarven proverb. Not my hall, not my problem. <laughs> Lydia's like, let me tell you an old gnome proverb. Dwarves are drunkards. <laughs> no, this dwarf is a drunkard. <laughs> Oh, surprise! No, <laughs> so far, so far, the so far, you're, where we're going off of the assumption that this little girl is even living, and she just happened to be found on a boat full of undead, because that's normal. I mean, in all fairness, my divine sense didn't pick her up on her as an undead. Did you use divine sense on the gnome? I used divine sense in the room which she was in. And that thing was in. Yep. And it did not sense her at all, actually. So that means she is not evil, she is not good, and therefore she is not undead. Which also means that maybe she doesn't exist. This could also be true, technically. Uh, I don't know, someone stab her and find out. She's just like, please, no. I, I, I go walk up to the gnome. <laughs> I... I am holding an anchor, and I can't do a blessed thing. <laughs> Gnome is going to uh, try to hide in the cannon. I can also fit in the cannon. You, you can, but this is this gnome is smaller than you because it's a child gnome. Uh, how, how is the condition of this cannon? Bad. Do I smell gunpowder? Yes, surprisingly. No. <laughs> I'm going to start pulling up the anchor as best as I can. <laughs> so do you really want me to... Do you really want me to... Stab the girl to make sure that she's real? No. See that she bleeds? Or should I light the cannon to see if it just clears out the barrel? Uh... uh you can stab her, you can punch her, put her in the barrel. Uh, see, I thought you were mod. a paladin who was good. I mean, we don't know if she's... I mean, Divine Sense did pick it up. We don't know if she's real. <laughs> One way to find out. You know, and that would immediately you make your actions retrospectively out. evil. <laughs> and it's like, well, if it's he is real, real then I will have committed an evil. <laughs> Well, she, if if she is real, I'll just heal her. <laughs> Actually, that's hey, that's a that's a pretty good point. Here, I I reach into the barrel and I and I hand her uh, an arrow, and I tell her poke wait, my hand. Wait, 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 wait. Are you wondering if she's real? Yeah. I carried her up here. You think you carried her up here? <laughs> I can <laughs> feel the weight. That's how illusions work. <laughs> that's what illusions do. <laughs> 
Life is an illusion there, Paladin. That is a phantasmal force oh, in there, Ryan. You're the you're the fighter. Uh, I just I love the, the gnome I, to stab me with an arrow. The gnome just looks at you, takes the arrow, but it climbs deeper into the cannon, and pulls I, I out a tiny bow. So you back off. I know how to use this bow. She does not know how to use this bow. I climb to the back of the cannon. She climbs out the other end of the cannon. Fire the cannon! She dead closes the rim of the cannon. <laughs> I try to stop her closing the cannon. I feel like strength this... Uh, dex then strength to make sure you beat her to the, to the cannon closing. It's one against... Once again, one of those ones where if they lock the door, they're too 11. strong. All right, she was able to close it, but not fast enough to keep you from it, so you are able to uh, open it up. She's like, my plan, no! <laughs> it was a cannon trap! Cathars is just standing there in amazement. It's like, you're all terrible people. I try to intimidate her. 23, stab me! <laughs> I don't know if she would stab you after that. She's definitely intimidated. I just don't think that's the action she would take. <laughs> I don't know if intimidating makes them do... Yeah, that's the thing. Intimidation doesn't always it's just make. <laughs> well, if she's near me, I'm gonna sit. There. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke her. Uh, I think mom has it on the text. Oh, uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I'm gonna ask the boys. Sixteen exclamation point exclamation point. Sorry about that. Everyone uses my internet because it's the better internet. So yeah, I'm I'm just gonna poke the little gnome girl. You poke her with your hand? Yeah, I'm just gonna sit there and just kind of like poke her with the fingers. Pop. Alrighty, for the sleight of hand. Is I assume that's what that roll is for, Decker. Yeah, I wanted to yeah, sleight yeah. of hand the shawl to Niels. Okay. Uh, you uh, poke her and she goes, "Hey, stop that." And then she does, holy shit, I finally rolled good. She does a jump onto one of the ropes and skips across it to the next ship. Yes! Run, my sweet girl! I'm running leap after her. All right, make the, make the check. It's not that much uh, space. He should actually be able to jump that without a run, or without a check. And he is fast. However, she is still on the ropes that are uh, surrounding these. So she is up in the air. Oh, 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 I know, I know. I was going to say, when he goes to do a running jump, use my hand as, a, as like, leverage, and then I... <laughs> you cheerleader? I'm just waiting, I'm, I'm just waiting for you to roll the one, and somehow both of you fall off the... <laughs> Fourteen athletics to climb the ropes, chasing her. I think that should be pretty easy. Also, does isn't your natural athletics higher than that? To be fair, you're chasing, I have a plus but six I would. Athletics. Well, yeah, that would be sixteen with a ten, right? I rolled your... an eight. I know. I'm saying if you had taken a ten. Oh. Yeah, if I had taken a ten, it would have been sixteen. Ha! Ah! She rolled a twenty. And she has skipped away. <laughs> I rolled two twenties for that in a row. By the way. Just to just so you th don't think I'm trying to make the girl invincible. I really just need to start taking those tins. I'm telling you, man, it's sometimes <laughs> worth it, especially if it's not contested. So I wouldn't have let you take it on like a, the intimidation yeah. against her, but for that climbing of the rope, that has nothing to do with her. That's personal. She still, she still has our shawl, so I'm chasing her down. I thought you uh, sleight of handed it away. You you said that she. No, that no, no, she that was away, so no, 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 that was oh. so that you couldn't oh. get to her. She so just popped if, out. Yeah. She popped okay, out after being poked. The shawl away. Yeah, yeah, you yep. have the shawl. Sorry, I should have okay. did not clarify. After you sleight of handed, she got poked and she pieced out because she's tired. Okay. That's fine. I <laughs> so she's out. now. She's. We're just gonna assume she's back over here, having wasted one of my twenties. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You did it's not okay. say we had the shawl. I know. 
That is my apologies. I it's very hard um, to. I gotta put them in chat. It's just easier when I do certain things in chat so that everyone knows, and then we can refer back to it. Cause some things were like three people talking and two people texting back and forth, and you miss it. It's yeah. Tough. Um. If if she runs after I slide a hand, I offer the shawl to Niels to see if she even wants it. I love this because. Gamma is straight up still holding the chain and no one gives a I'm shit. I'm still like trying to, I'm trying to reel the entire chain in. Like I've just been doing it this entire time. Just you just getting good good amount of time, but it take you, you lost a lot of that chain. Oh yeah. It's gonna take just, some I'm time. I'm still going for it. Though. No no uh, problem, Nils. Not really my style. Axel, I'm gonna use detect magic on that shawl. Okay. I need to go over the. The, uh, so, are we climbing down schools. this chain? Is that what we're doing? That was the plan to get down to the ground. Okay, Kapura, the, you first or me first? The the gnome just laughs from the other ship. I'm I'm gonna intimidate the gnome. I love it because this the intimidation is the first thing, but it the way you do it is important. When you say I intimidate them, I then get to like interpret how that's being used so i just interpret that as you going Murr, and then she's like, and runs away because that would be your yeah, natural I, reaction that's that's basically what i do okay so make your roll all right now i have to counter now i have to counter roll and hope i get another 20 no not, not this time she's like fine then good luck dying caravan of ships with us i'm sorry I'm, I'm 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 playing decker my instant response is i don't need your help i don't need your luck also uh <clears throat> i uh make a roll michael whatever happened to kesher or, uh yes. whatever his name was uh any no anything? i'll add your uh, relative modifier it's a secret roll for right now <laughs> Ooh, <good work. laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that was the role. Thank you. You'll we'll talk about it later. Okay. Mummy rot. Um, that so are, are we are we really climbing down th these chains or? I mean, we if you would have and... just let it hit the ground and we climb down, we definitely hit ground. And then and then we could 100% pick up gold gold shards from that chair that fell through the entirety of the ship. We all know Avana, uh, Avana does not like money, though. I don't like money as much as other people and their safety. Remember, I was a soldier once. Good spirits I'll cost protect. money, my friend. Good spirits <laughs> cost money. And dead spirits cost none. No, they usually cost a, a, a visit to a holy man. Get, get a couple of curses cleansed. They're actually pretty costly. So if you guys want to get down, you got to get down some other way because I'm going to keep hauling this up. Someone go tickle Ivana. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's say that the uh, spell has now been cast. I've been trying to find a good way to uh, do this, but I think this is the only one that fits... Uh, so let me give the official description. Eh. The spell description so, is Donnie Ducko gets large. Yeah, pretty much. I was like, what do you mean Donnie Ducko is large and in charge? Oh yeah, that's right, because I used detect magic on yeah. the shawl. I forgot so about that. So you sense magic in this way, you can use the magic to see faint aura. Uh, and so you do see a faint aura coming from around the shawl. And uh, you can see that it's from the school of, I believe, abjuration. Ah. So that shawl's enchanted with some magic from the aberration school. Oh, nice. Sweet. What does that mean? I also do not know what this means. I, I don't know what it means either. I just know what school it's from. If you would like, I can give magic people their historical context on that. If anyone cares. I don't think I'm magic enough, so... I mean, I could do an arcana check on it with a plus zero. 
I mean, yeah. I just meant for people who would naturally have Arcana knowledge in their background, such as you. Which, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an Arcana check. Okay. 1d20, no bonuses. Yeah. Oh. Oh! Sorry about Wait, the healing what? diffy. No, that is, sorry. That yeah. was a 1d4. Sorry, that doesn't count. Yeah. I accidentally used um, the wrong one. All right, and what are we uh, what are we doing that one for again? Our, uh, Arcana. Arcana check too, but I uh, only put a D four instead of a D ten. I see that. That was unfortunate and funny, <laughs> but unfortunate. Uh, unfortunately, you are able to tell that it's from my observation. You're able to tell that it's quite old, despite looking very nice, um, and that it's supposed to work uh, as both a defense and a restraint, but that. You know, it's it, you don't know what it does or what its name is. It's a little beyond your knowledge currently. But you do know that and you remember that the School of Abjuration is magic spells that are designed for protection and shielding. Um, I might use Identify on it. Alrighty. Give me just a moment to go to your spell. Sis, 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 sis. Ooh, yes. Choose one object. I started helping must. Ivana. Yep. It is a magic tag. Make sure other magic and beauty objects. Your owner's property. Ah. Uh -huh. All right. So, you must cast this spell. It takes one minute to cast. Or, it can be cast for one minute. Uh, it requires a pearl worth at least 100 gold and an owl feather. I do not. So we're just going to assume you have that on you, but that you no longer have that on you, so you're no longer able to cast Identify, as those are costly identify extra. Identify is so costly. It is. And then you have to add all those things to it. Yep. Yeah. And there's very, there's not too many spells that require components that you don't just kind of get. You basically, like, get throwaway components, but certain spells, such as that one, uh so I can't darkness technically has one but because it's so simple like darkness has spell focuses but because they're simple bat fur and a, a piece of coal like they're not super expensive that one is super expensive it identifies rough mm -hmm. okay, um but you worry. are able to and you are immediately able to tell that this is the uh shawl of scolding <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> the shawl of scolding is an invulnerable item, only able to be destroyed by a destroy or remove magic, and then destroying the shawl. In addition, the shawl has unlimited number of uses and can be used by anybody with no attunement. The shawl <laughs> can be placed over any object or creature, rendering that creature immovable. Until the shawl is removed. The creature cannot remove the shawl from itself. It can only be removed from the top. So it's not like a shawl you want to wear yourself. <laughs> no. Okay. Don't like that in your hand. <laughs> it's scary. It's like I said. It's it's not the worst weapon. It's a, there was a reason it was sitting on top of that thing. Don't piss off mistress, and you won't won't need to worry about it. Probably. <laughs> we, we're girlfriends. We I did. I, I, for each oh, other. speaking of, I do think it is almost time for Diffy to head out. If yeah, we wanted to start fair. wrapping it up. Uh, fair enough. It, I don't know what we wanted to do. Maybe we'll wrap up and say we finished retrieving the the anchor chain. Wait. Yeah, I did. I did try and go help Ivana, but I only yeah. rolled a four. That's all right. It would have taken some time anyway. It's not like like now you've got the strength yeah. part down. Now you just gotta pull it up. Which I feel like it's been like ten minutes. I've gotten like four chains up, <laughs> four chain links up at this point. It, it's it's gonna take a while. Yeah. But we're going to just push past that forward to the point where you finished it. 
Time skip. Let's do the time skip again. But, uh, yeah. It's a montage. Goddamn flotillas. <laughs> Look, man. They... I don't trust that gnome. Why? Nor should you ever trust children. Children are sketchy that, to begin with. in real life, but... Why? Children are sketchy in, in the first place, but this supposed gnome was sitting in a sack in a room trying to find magic items? Why was she sitting in a sack being so quiet? Did you... Did you see what was below her? Why was she anywhere near it? Maybe she was sent on a quest. I don't know about you, but there's no quest I can think of that says, you know what? Go by big bad person and just sit in bag. Well, I mean, well, we we're scared up here. her. <laughs> but none of us went and got sat in a bag, did we, Nils? No. Yeah, but she's a kid. We're not. We also don't have bags big enough to hold us. Cathars mm -hmm. just says, I do. Venus die trap right here. I try to fit Can't in the bag that the curves. gnome got in. The bag is actually too small for you because it is gnome child sized. You can fit halfway in though. I look at Ivana, duly noted. <laughs> Fair. Regardless, sack warfare has never helped anyone. But yes, that was a nice, I good job dealing with the random creature on the ship. We still need to burn out the zombies. They are still I'm down I'm cool there. with coming back and doing that. But not until we know for a fact that there are not other good people that we could be affecting with this. I mean, I, mean, I, we... I love that hold our... On, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta remember, these people have lived here, what, it's also, what, 10 years? The, the dead is not really hurting anyone. <laughs> They're stuck in that place. Why are we trying yeah. to do all these things again? Because Copra said... I just People love how the die. I just love how the <laughs> fighter is the moralistic, even though the paladin's sitting right there just like sucking its thumb. I'm a great <laughs> paladin. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm neutral, good. So I mean, the reason why we want to burn the ship <laughs> is because the undead are evil. And the evil must be pushed. What about the stabbing the girl thing? <laughs> yeah, the whole hey, stab the girl to see if she's real. I mean, the we, to see if she's real. We, we didn't stab her, did we? I don't feel I like just, that I was necessarily huge after we... Just, just I, because... Just because... And, hey, hey, also, I didn't say what to stab her with. You that's stab her even with more you. creepy. People, people who bomb Literally. in the middle of an airport <laughs> don't get... I'm still... They, fucking... They're not like, ah, oh, they're just kidding. <laughs> they still take that seriously. It's yeah, like, I'm going to stab you. Just kidding. It's all good. To be fair, I asked her to stab me. I mean, you did, but he originally suggested to stab her. Yes. That was his original suggestion. Like, eh, we don't know if she's real. Let's just stab her. <laughs> Even though if we she were like... if she were real and he stabbed her and she ended up being real, that would immediately make him lose his palate. <laughs> but again, I didn't specify what to stab her with. You could stab her with a stick. I'm pretty sure there's that's, plenty of that's dicks. called poking. Stabbing is <laughs> stabbing. <penetration laughs> of the non-sexual kind, unless you into that. He said stabbing. <laughs> he. I, that's why I said call nine one one. Yeah. God damn it, Axel. Oh, but no, that was a that was a very nice creative way to get rid of a problem and cause more, uh, and then cause more. <laughs> You get some inner party problems now. Let's go. Did I, did I not tell you that that was basically how our? Now we just our... need to figure out how to get the gold. One step forward, two step backs. So I, I like to think of it more like one step forward, a step and a half back. No, one step uh, forward, two floors drop down. Pretty much, <laughs> straight to hell. We are walking backwards forward. through hell around the world. Yeah. <laughs> I carve I carve out on the uh the actual like steering wheel in Dwarven. Nope. <laughs> there. Just to like signify if we return to the ship that this ship has undead on it. So this is a nope boat. It's a good reminder. 
So, what's your all plan getting off since mine was thwarted by Ivana? I, f I figure we go to the next ship to see what it has. Yeah. If it has Undead too, let's start marking these boats for destruction. We either follow her to the ship that she went to, or we can try and find the 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 north ship that she said that she was a part of, or we find the center. Um, in 5e, e, I don't have a, nat a natural sense of direction underground, do I? I don't believe so, as a dwarf. I don't remember, actually. But I think this, they got rid of it for 5e. I think they did. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a, like a background thing. I think they might have put it under a specific dwarf sub, oh, like hill yeah. or mountain. No, I think you. I think I think he's right. I think it is a background thing, like it's dungeon delver or something like that. Uh, yeah. hold on. <sighs> dwarf traits. No, it's, it's not in dwarf traits. It's not there. Neely pulls out the map. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you uh, know which way is north? Nils, do you know which way is north? Doesn't look like I care right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see I, the sun at all? I offer her uh, a copper. Yes, in between like <laughs> bits of cloud whenever the clouds like are out of the way. So. And okay. the sun is this no wait, no, it's not this way. It's so far off. This way. Okay. okay. Uh, Neely was looking at the map to see, based on how the ship was designed, where she is currently. Um, so from what you had earlier, you actually don't have any areas you can see that were depicted. You don't. You don't think you're on where you were on the map, or what you can see. Mm. Don't. Does anybody remember what way the girl said that we're going? She said to go north. So they're probably heading north, which means Ex the front of the boat is north. Except both ships are pointing different directions. Uh, Wait, didn't she say that she lived on the north boat? Should we just yes. follow her then? Mm, she said she lives on the north boat, and the north boat is the lead boat. Okay, so if the sun is up this way... Are we in a world where it look, works like our sun, where it goes from east to west? We're going to say yes for convenience sake. Okay, so Get if out. it's still morning where we are, this would be east then, because the sun is this way, which would make this way north. So then she's going the opposite direction. So she would be going south. So we would either go the opposite direction of her and try and get to the north ship. I go to the front of the boat. I climb out on the prow. Is that what that thing's called? Yep. I think so. Alrighty. I can't remember what the back end of the the ship is called though. I think it's the bow. The bow. Yeah. No, well, yeah. And the it starboard is. is the left side, I believe. No, right side. And port is the left side. I used to know terms. I think that's right. Yeah. Port left, starboard right. Yep. yep. And then... Oh, no, it's the aft of the ship. Yeah, that's the what that is. The, the bow of the ship is actually... Bow. The bow is the front, but, yep. like, the the deck part of the front. Yes. There are very specific shippy terms for ships yeah. and shippy places. Well, I crawl out on, on, on the frontal... Frontal nose, lozenge -ong. On the penis. The ship penis. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. And what are you trying to see? What's over there? This direction? There yep. seems to be nothing. But you do see something in this direction. Which direction do you, do you eh, see? Something? Eh, 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 eh. Eh, 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 bam. Gotcha. I can't jump that. I could throw you. Nah, you can do it. If I go to the edge of this <laughs> wing. Can. Is 
70 feet. Yeah, give or take. If we don't have anything that would be able to launch it that long. Are they connected by the rope? So, the rope seemed to go up into more clouds. And then there are some ropes connecting this direction from these two ships that you can see. But the ropes don't extend over here. Got it. So, that direction north would be incorrect because nothing is that direction. I do let everyone know about that ship up there, just so that we're all on the same page. Um... I mean, I guess go to the edge of this wing just to be thorough. And then, unfortunately, in this direction, there is a whole lot of nothing. Fair enough. There's a cloud. So we literally have one direction to go. And that's this other boat. So maybe she was going that way because that's the way to her boat. Which means if we were to light fire to this boat and then cut it, it would just float away. We'd have to make sure that everything, every line is cut. If there's one. There's only one. The ties into the ship that she jumped if, onto. There's, yes, one line there, but there are lines extending from, if you look closely at the model of the boat, this one has oh, going up all the into other the ones. clouds? Yes. Yeah, from the side of the boat, thinking, roughly yeah. some connections there. We just can't see what they're connected to because of the cloud. Yes. I assume they're not connected to anything. Well, why would they be going upwards and not sliding? Why would we fall into the ground onto an airship? What? I'm going to climb up the rope. <laughs> I'm going to follow I... the pilot in. <laughs> yeah, I'm following too. <laughs> Exactly where I wanted to go. All right, I think that's a good spot to call a cut. <laughs> that is a great spot to call it. Because I've been waiting for that since you got on the boat. <laughs> that was literally the first thing I said too. Is like there's ropes extending from the side and upwards, and then it was like, I nah, fuck it, let him explode. I literally the boat. looked over and I and I saw Nils typing, and I thought she had just typed, pulls out the map, and I was like, again, <laughs> size yeah, that was and the <laughs> yeah. And that and this is the reason why I didn't have them drop the anchor fully. <laughs> because as a TM, I know you plan so much more. <laughs>